where to start for harder erections. Since having good sex depends on your overall health, you need to be concerned about getting your health back into better shape. The first place to start with, to improve your hardness, is to look at habits that have a big impact on your sex life. Then, make an effort to reduce or eliminate these habits. There are certain reasons why these habits have a big impact, and these will be discussed at different places in this course. Just keep in mind, that not getting hard might be a temporary condition. If it results from stress, such as, marital conflicts or work relations, with co-workers or bosses, then, correcting these situations can relieve your temporary hardness problem. Stress and Depression If you are depressed, then, you need to find a way to come out of this condition. Take a look at what is depressing you, and take action to change it. It may require you to talk with the person related to your depression, so that, some resolution can occur. Is it some life situation where you feel trapped and can't seem to do anything about it? If your depression is related to a loved one's death, then, you may need to talk to a therapist to help you over this difficult time. The idea here, is when you are stressed or depressed, you need to take action to solve the problem and not be disabled. Many times it is hard to take this first action, but remember, this is affecting your health and hardness, and this is what you want to correct or change. Smoking, Drugs, and Alcohol Smoking, is probably one of the most devastating habits to have, and one of the more difficult ones to stop. When smoking, you are using up a high level of antioxidants, to help you maintain good health in all parts of your body. When you smoke, you have more plaque buildup in your arteries and veins, that limit the amount of blood that flows into your penis to make it hard. Cirrhosis of the liver from chronic alcoholism, can lower the amount of testosterone you have moving through your bloodstream. Testosterone, stimulates the sex drive and assists in producing sperm. Drinking a small amount of wine can be relaxing, and contains a high level of antioxidants, which are good for your arteries. Studies have shown that, only a small amount should be taken every day and not overdone. Nitric Oxide Nitric Oxide, is a polluting gas outside of your body, but inside your body, nitric oxide produced in the artery walls is a signaling chemical. When released, it gives instructions that control many body functions, such as, nerve signals, immune functions, muscle growth and relaxation, blood vessel dilation, and inflammation control. You will not be able to have erections without producing the proper levels of nitric oxide. Having a good supply of blood to your penis, is not enough to have a hard erection. To have a strong erection, you need a good supply of nitric oxide. But, that has to be coupled with a good supply of blood to the penis. To get an erection, you need to be stimulated by images, women, or thoughts. These sensations are transmitted to your nervous system, which triggers the release of nitric oxide. Then relaxes the penis muscle, which allows blood to flow into the corpus cavernosum of the penis. Nitric oxide, is a gas created in the veins of the penis wall, which helps pass blood into the corpus cavernosum. The penis has two shafts, called, corpus cavernosum, as shown in the penis cross-section below. These shafts fill with blood when the nervous system relaxes the muscles surrounding the corpora cavernosa. The nitric oxide in the blood, activates the muscles around the corpus cavernosa to relax, so that, the constricted blood vessels that flow blood into cavernosa can relax and open up. Without nitric oxide going into the cavernosum, no erection is possible. Diagram from Gray's Anatomy The healthier you are, the more nitric oxide you will produce. This is why, you need to concentrate on becoming healthier in all aspects of your life, the foods you eat, the supplements you take, the thoughts you have, and the exercise you do. You need to keep the levels of nitric oxide up throughout your body all the time. This gives you protection against impotence, heart attacks, and other diseases. Nitric oxide, not only functions in your body to give you a hard erection, but, it is an important chemical massager that works throughout your body. It works in the cardiovascular system and the central nervous system, it fights infections and prevents you from getting ulcers. The list of what nitric oxide does in your body is extremely long. Many things can interrupt the proper workings of your reproductive system. It can be psychological, physical, or medical. 
But, it has been found that, one of the major causes of erectile dysfunction, is the inability to produce enough nitric oxide in the corpus cavernosum. In the following section, you will discover how to increase your levels of nitric oxide. Lifestyle changes. A relatively healthy body, is needed to create hardness. So, the healthier you are, the stronger and longer lasting will be your erections. If your health is not so good, this will be reflected in your penis hardness, and how long it stays hard. The level of hardness can vary, so, if you get hard but not as hard as you would like, then, it's an indication that you need to improve your health. If you get some hardness, but it does not stay hard for very long, you need to look at living a healthy lifestyle. Diet, is where you need to start. Being overweight or obese has a direct relationship with how hard you get. You will have to lose some weight if you are overweight. Being overweight, is related to various illnesses that can plague you, if you maintain that weight or increase that weight. In the following videos, you will find suggestions on how to improve your overall health. You will find diets to follow, nutrients that you need, supplement to take, and exercise to do. These suggestions and steps, are designed to improve your cardiovascular system, blood circulation, increase nitric oxide, lose weight, and increase your mental attitude. Erectile dysfunction psychological or physical. If you have this dysfunction, you might be thinking about whether it is psychological or due to some physical problem. Here is a test you can use, but it is not foolproof. Every night, a man usually gets one or more erections naturally when he sleeps. If you don't get a nightly erection, then, your problem might be psychological. If you do get an erection at night, then, your problem might be a physical illness. If you had an erection at night, there is one test used by many. Wrap a strip of postage stamps around the shaft of your penis before you go to bed. If the strip is intact in the morning, then, you didn't get a nightly erection. You can wrap other things on your penis, that can tell if you had an erection. You may also want to go to your doctor to get a checkup, especially for heart function. If you find that you have heart issues, you can decide whether you want to use drugs, or whether you want to use a natural approach for your heart problems and your erectile dysfunction. If it is psychological, you need to discuss this with your partner, so that, there is no miscommunication between you and her. Most men that are experiencing impotence, have lost their confidence in producing erections. It would be a good idea to see a therapist that is versed in this area. You should also examine areas of your life, where you are stressed and have issues with other people that have not been resolved. One area to start with, is your attitude. You need to take control and responsibility for your body. Many men make the mistake of giving their penis a name, like, Roger, Biggie, Volcano, Johnny, and so on. The act of giving your penis a name, is a process where you are dissociating yourself from your penis. It is like another person to you. It's your penis, and you should consider it part of your body, and accept that you are having problems with your penis, and not that Roger is having problems. You don't give other parts of your body names, so it does not seem natural to give your penis a name. Changing your attitude in this area, will help you start to consider that your whole body has to change, including the way you think about your penis. Let's go on to the next video, Diet for Improving Manhood and Losing Weight.